I'm Mark Allen, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. There's one fact that's true about saltwater tanks, and no hobbyist and no professional is going to change my mind about it. And that fact is that there's infinite different number of ways to set up and maintain a saltwater tank and have it be successful. You can use metal halides, LEDs, T5 for lighting. You can start it with live rock or dry rock. Go sandy bottom like me or a bare bottom tank. Internal overflow, external overflow, high flow, low flow. Point is we could go on forever. Any combination of these types of equipment or approaches to the tank is gonna let you have a successful saltwater aquarium. But for me on my tank and any one of my client's tanks, one piece of a gear that's non-negotiable is a tank controller. With a tank controller, I can monitor and control the tank wherever I am in the world. And I can program it to do things automatically for me like dose the tank, control the calcium reactor, or do certain things if it senses water on the floor around the tank. Now I'm not saying you have to have a tank controller to have a successful tank, but for me, it makes setting up the tank and maintaining the tank a heck of a lot easier, and I believe it makes my tanks more successful. And for the past nearly 20 years, I have used Neptune's Systems Controllers. But this video isn't about a Neptune Systems Controller. It's about something different. This video is about Coral View's Hydros Tank Controller. And Hydros has been out for a number of years, and I've been sitting on the sidelines watching why would I do that when I'm Mr. Saltwater Tank? Shouldn't I be jumping into the new gear right away? Yes, and sometimes I take a step back because look, at this point in my career, I've been going to trade shows, saltwater corn trade shows for over 15 years. I can't tell you how many new companies I've seen pop up or new gear pop up in the hand of an existing company. I come to the trade show a year later, poof, the company or the gear is just gone. Losing control for your pump because the company went out of business or the product was dumped is one thing. The losing support control of your tank controller, totally different story. Now, let's be clear about one thing. I don't believe for a minute that Coral View is going out of business. I'm pretty confident they're gonna be at the next trade show. They carry lots of different brands and they continue to innovate for the hydros, so I also don't feel that they're gonna dump off that product. Up to this point, my only experience with the hydros has been what I've learned from interviewing Coral View staff at trade shows. So I know some, but not as much as I've never set one up, until now. Introducing our new series here at saltwateraquarium.com, the Hydro Series. Like most things here at saltwateraquarium.com, we're doing things differently. No shiny, unrelatable YouTube studios. We're putting two hydros in the hands of two very different saltwater aquarists and giving them free reign to say what they want. There's me, the hobbyist, who's only one year in. I've never set up a controller. I have zero experience with any controller, so I'm as green as they come. Then there's me, who's been around controllers for nearly 20 years, but I'm used to something totally different than the hydros. I've got to retrain my brain on how to approach the controller and avoid falling into the trap of, this isn't what I like, this isn't what I know. Take me back to what I know. I'm out of here. In other words, I got to teach an old dog new tricks. So welcome to the Hydro series. At this point, I'm going to turn it over to Jimmy Newby Reefer and let him walk you through this thing first. Hey everybody, I'm Jimmy and I've had my first saltwater tank for about a year now, but I've never had a controller. I don't know a whole lot about them. I only know uh, what I've learned at trade shows while listening to Mr. Saltwater Tank in headphones while I'm filming for him. So I went ahead and picked up a, oh, this is a Hydros uh, controller starter pack, the X2. Now, this is an app-based controller, meaning I'll be put an app on my phone and I'll be able to control something with this thing. Now, right now, I've got an app on my phone for my lights, for my C-shaped pumps. Um, I think that's it. But uh, I'll have some options to plug some things into here that I'll be able to monitor them and get some data from them. And this actually comes with one right out of the box. It has a temperature sensor, so uh, I'll be able to see the temperature wherever I put that sensor, my sump or in my tank. Um, it also has a, comes with a four outlet Wi-Fi AC adapter. So I'm assuming things I plug into there, I'll be able to at least see the power. Um, not really sure. And then of course a power supply, plug this in to power it up. Where do I start? Well, that's simple because right on the box, there's a QR code. 
let's start by scanning that and see what we get. Okay, you click on that and it opens up the Coral View website. There's the online manuals, uh, Hydros Wave Engine, Pumps, oh, Controllers, that's what I want to do. I'm going to click on Controller. Here's the different Hydros controllers. You can see a picture of mine there. And then there's the setup. And then there's some follow along how-to instructions. Pretty simple. Just download the Hydros app. Let's do that one first. Click on that. And then it brings up this page. It says download the Hydros app. You just read along and go to your preferred store, the Google Play Store or the App Store to download the app. Brings you into your app store. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to open it. So you click on each one of these things and it gives you step by step instructions. So you can go to create uh, an account. Everyone's created accounts before, so it's pretty straightforward. But again, there's a video for that. Nice. Good job, Coral View. Welcome to Hydros. So you've downloaded the Hydros app. Now I'm going to show you how to create a Hydros account. Okay, you get the idea. There's step-by-step -step instructions just by scanning the QR code. You just follow along until you get everything all set up. But then it wants you to connect to Wi-Fi and to Bluetooth. But in order to do that, you got to get this thing out of the box plugged in. And then we'll set it up from there. So let's take a look inside the box, see what we have. Okay, let's uh, open it up and take a look. Nicely packed in there. There's a big box inside there. First one looks like it's a our four outlet uh, Wi-Fi AC power adapter. We've got a temperature sensor with a uh, plug there. And the next thing we've got is our control box itself. It's really lightweight, which is uh, very encouraging because maybe I can use a uh, two-sided tape on the back. I like using that instead of drilling any holes. And then I can peel it off and move it pretty easy. Um, and then there's a little uh, step one, another QR code in case you missed it on the box. And then of course the uh, power adapter itself. Now this is super awesome. Everything that Coral View has is color coded. So this is blue to blue. It looks a little power symbol there. All you do is plug it in and it lights up and you want this to cycle through and go pink. Ta-da! It did. So now I'm ready to uh, set up the, uh, this on my Wi-Fi network at home. So now I open my Hydros app and I hit the plus symbol in the top. There it shows my new controller. I'll add my controller. It shows me my available Wi-Fi networks. So I'll select my home Wi-Fi network, enter my password, and connect to my home Wi-Fi. Okay, now I'm going to add my temperature sensor to my control box. And remember, these things are all color-coded, so green to green. And it also says Sense. That's a Sense port. So I'm going to plug in the uh, end of the temperature sensor. I can just give this a spin because these have a little notch. They can only go in one way. And then I'll take the probe end and put that down in my sump. So now inside my app, I'll add an input, hit the little plus sign. I'll put temp sensor and create. What is it? What type is it? It's a sense port. I'll select sense port and then sense mode, I'll go down and select temperature probe. It's a temperature probe. And then you'll see all kinds of parameters pop up. So now I want to set um, my safe range. Uh, I should be able to change this to, uh, oh, it's in Celsius. So I'll have to probably go in my settings and change things from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So back on my home page, I can select in the upper right hand corner and I can go down to options at the very bottom and I can change my temperature units. I can change my temperature units to Fahrenheit since that's what I really know. Uh, upload my changes. 
saves my changes to the uh, cloud as well. And then I can go back um, to my inputs, my temperature sensor, and now it's all in Fahrenheit and I can set my parameters. Okay, next to set up is my Wi-Fi power unit. This came with my controller and it also came with its own little mounting bracket, which is pretty slick because you can uh, use screws to mount it and then it clips right in and gives you a really clean look and nice and sturdy. I'm not gonna use this. I've got a little trays that these can fit in and that allows me to slide them in and out and uh, make changes quite easily. And I also like to use two-sided tape because then I don't have to drill any holes. I can peel it off. Um, so I'm gonna set this up and it, you just kind of do the same thing. You just follow the directions. Coral View's got great directions right on the website. You just follow along and uh, set this unit up. So there you have it. I've got a Hydros controller set up on my tank now. It's not controlling a whole lot yet. I've got a temperature sensor on there. I've got the uh, Wi-Fi plugs ready in the app so I can use those. And then the next thing I plan to add to it same way, just adding the devices, is uh, plug this guy into it. This is Hydro's auto top-off unit. I'll be adding this and, of course, doing a video about it. But, uh, yeah, I'm super excited about this. Mm -hmm.